He woke up. The first thing he wanted to do, I want to see Tori. I just want to talk to Tori. I'm like, dude, you're getting married. You're about to be with her for the next however many years. Our yep. solution was, you want to walk to Duncan? Yeah. <laughs> the walk did not help me this morning. No, that walk did so I needed he, comes back, he comes back. He's like, Tori gave me a hug. Took me 15 minutes. I'm completely fine. Yep. <laughs> like, what the hell? That's all it took, man. I just needed a hug from her to calm me down this morning. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. It is my honor and my privilege to welcome you to this beautiful place on this beautiful night for this joyful celebration of the gift of marriage. We went to high school together, played basketball together, but he didn't know me at all, as everybody knows. I wasn't cool enough. <laughs> There's a photo of us in high school at a basketball game, and I was standing one person away from her the whole time. I was right there next to her the whole time. I never knew anything about it. It was a candy day on LA's For those of you who don't know, the story goes, Tori and I went to Meniere's, our local grocery store one day, and a couple aisles over, she saw Austin. She was like, oh my God, that's Austin Sharpie, isn't it? <laughs> And I was like, no, Tori, it's Sharp. And she was like, no, it's Sharpie. I said, really, he's not a friend of Barker. Like, this is a man. She kept arguing with me for days about the pronunciation. That's until Austin messaged her for the first time. I actually messaged Tori on Christmas Day and asked her um, if I knew her. I was like, do I know you? Do I know you from someone? <laughs> so that was a little bit of an ego hit that I knew who he was, but he didn't know me. But um, we started talking and then it just never stopped. Thank you to each one of you for coming from near and far to be here tonight. Tori and Austin are deeply grateful for the love and the care and the support and the friendship that you have given to them in countless ways over the years. This is an extra special moment for them because you, Tori and Austin's closest friends and relatives, are here to witness their marriage. By the power vested in me by the Universal Life Church and the State of New York, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. I think we can all agree that this night, this weekend, and this beautiful relationship was inevitably going to succeed. I cannot wait to see you guys build this life together, and I'm so grateful and honored to be here celebrating this with you. I want to thank you guys for having me here with you on your special day and putting this all together. I mean, it's beautiful. You guys are everything each other once needed, and I cannot wait to watch your love grow a ton. It's always been amazing to watch their love grow over the years, long distance and traveling eight hours to see each other. 
I love you guys both so much and I'm so happy for you. I'm just so blessed to have such a great person in my life that really makes me a better person. And I think that's what makes Tori the person that I want to be with for the rest of my life. She uh, is the best thing that's ever happened to me, for sure, by far. I don't know how I got so lucky. The way that he loves me and loves others is just so unconditional. I never thought that I had the luck. When you realize you want to spend the rest of your life with somebody, you want the rest of your life to start as soon as possible. Let's raise a glass to Tori and Austin. Here's to their future together, filled with laughter, love, and happiness. Cheers to living life to the fullest, laughing at the small things, and loving unconditionally. Cheers to Mr. and Mrs. Sharpie. You're writing a beautiful love story.